But my current hobby is walking to the Far Lands in the Far Lands or Bust live stream for October 21st, 2022. We're up to 44,308 point something megabytes on the world save size. World file, word, world save, world save file, file save size. One of those words in whatever order you choose. Uh, but get your woofs ready. We are ready to begin. Oh, I was not. <laughs> Woof, there we go. That was a that was a, a heavy clicker finger that accidentally clicked the button before I was even ready for it. It's on a, it's on a hair trigger. Whoppa. Well, that's right. The last stream, we had some very interesting uh, landscapes and whatnot. Wolfie remembers. Yeah, I guess that way is west. There's a sheep over here. Could use a little bit more wool. Roof, indeed. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That is, that's all that sheep had to offer. As we continue west here in Minecraft Beta 173... <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. A funny thing happened when I was walking Juno earlier. I was walking not paying attention. I think I was look. yeah, I was looking up a recipe. Because I was gonna... what did I just pick up? Seeds. I just picked up more seeds. Um... I was looking up off on my phone a recipe because I'm going to make uh, fried rice again tonight. And I just needed to know what to get at the grocery store. And I felt something tug at my head and then pull my hat off. My, 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 my beanie. My Dan Lassac branded beanie. Um... Straight off my head, whilst I was walking Juno. Uh, and I turned around... ...and saw that it was... ...a blackberry bush. <laughs> Cleanly removed the hat from atop my head. <laughs> and it was just hanging there. I found that hilarious. And I laughed, and I laughed, and I took pictures. Posted it to Instagram. <laughs> uh, it was just so cleanly like... If anybody knows blackberry vines and the... Stickers, they... If you get, like... If you get your body in a blackberry bush, it will, like, grab you and pull you in. It's very disturbing. That's happened to me once. Um, so it's very interesting that it just precisely removed... It didn't scratch me. It didn't poke me in the head or anything like that. It just went, whoop, took my hat. <laughs> ah, it's very, very almost sentient. The way those blackberry bushes work. Invasive species. Not native to the area. It was very much a yoink situation, yes. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I got a real kick out of that. Ooh. <clears throat> and th there we have it. That's the interesting thing that happened to me today. <laughs> oh, boy. Homer sliding into the bush. Yeah, that yeah, except he's being slowly grabbed by blackberry thorns. They're a carnivorous plant. Truly a life of intrigue and excitement that we have over here. Full of yawns and sneezes. 
Yawns and Sneezes is the name of my very fancy clothing line. <laughs> Where'd you get that sweater? Yawns and sneezes. Indeed. What else is new, everybody? What else is new? I fell in the water. I bought a pickup truck. I guess I didn't, I haven't really delved too deep into that on my own stuff, other than, uh, uh, ran when parked. Does, is everybody aware of that? I, I really, I didn't, I haven't really posted anything. <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh, I'm the worst. <laughs> uh, y'all just gotta listen to ran when parked. For these in-depth Kerche nuggets. You thought it was a joke. On Ranwen Parked, there was a picture of me next to the truck. <laughs> that would have been a very dry joke. And then to have a whole uh this is a I'm in the spawner. Oh, there's zombies also in the spawner. All right, Wolfie, let's move you out of the way here. I saw it on Twitter or somewhere, not Ramwin Park. I didn't post anything to Twitter. I mean, well, maybe I, like, retweeted the Ramwin Park episode. Oh, yeah, because it was the, the live episode. Yeah, it was Discord. Yeah, and I was saying how I'm making wise financial decisions. Are there none? Oh, I'm too high? Wait, what? Oh, I'm too high. I'm like, are there none... ...chests in the spawner? Listen, you... Alright, they're blocked out. For now. But no, yeah, I, I bought that pickup truck. I was as surprised as you are. <laughs> it was a very impulsive... ...and probably... Just, just one? Just the one. Unless there's like one of these random middle chests that sometimes happens. Um, what do we got? Iron. Wheat. That's it. Your skeletons. Um, so yeah, Ramon Park is now mildly confusing deadpan comedy. <laughs> that's, I mean, that that's pretty much every podcast ever, isn't it? Um, but no, I bought that, I very much bought that. It was already a very, like, stressful day. And again, it had been... This is how I end up buying cars. Is I end up seeing cars, being interested in them, and then they get sold out from under me. But then when I see one again, even if it's not exactly what I want, I get an itchy trigger finger. Especially if it's, like, a better price than I've ever seen. Which this one definitely was. Um, but it also needs work. Which is where... The regret sets in. I'm feeling better-ish about it. Now that I'm seeing like how many parts are actually available. It's no Corolla or SVX situation. 
There's a lot of parts available for Nissan pickup trucks. Except the one part that I really desperately need, but <laughs> that's beside the point. I suppose I need to do one of my famous Kurt J. Mac vlogs of look at this car I bought. I say that with everything except the SVX did I do that. <laughs> I'm I'm still a little bit like it might end up being like an SVX. I might have this thing for a few months and then decide that I'm not a truck person and then sell it. That's just the kind of headspace I'm in right now. Um, oh, is it not? There it is. What kind model? It is a 1993 Nissan pickup. It's hard body D21 pickup. V6, 4x4, extended cab. It's basically... It is exactly what I was looking for, except it's not in good of a shape of something I was looking for. It's got some problems. Not huge problems, it seems, but it requires some work. Which, if you know how the Datsun is going, I don't love doing work on cars. <laughs> um, it needs a parking brake. The parking brake was broken, and unfortunately it was broken in a very inconvenient spot right at the handle. And it's got a floor handle, whereas most of the pickup trucks had a, the in-dash pull handle. And it's hard to find that floor handle, so I kind of jerry-rigged a new cable onto the existing floor handle but the parking brake still doesn't engage very nicely. So I got the rest of the parking brake cables, which is available, and I also just ordered. It doesn't really need them, but I just am gonna completely like rebuild the drum brakes in the back as best I can with new shoes and springs and everything like that. Uh, and, and hopefully that will make it work. So I'm like hesitant to drive it because I can't really park it anywhere. I can and just leave it in gear, but with all the hills around here, I'm not particularly fond of that idea. So that's I've, I've not really been driving it too much. Well, it is a manual as well, which goes back to the fact that I need a parking brake. Um, so yeah, it has like... It's very... Clean. I mean, not clean. It's rust-free everywhere. The body, the frame, or whatever. Um, it just had, like, it's the original paint, so it has no clear coat left on it. Which is fine, because it's parked outside. That was one of my restraints with buying, like, a nice pickup truck. It's like, but then I'd have to park it outside. And I would feel bad for it to get as gross and tree sappy as my Subaru. But it's a pickup truck. Um, wheel blocks. Yeah, I mean, I, I have wheel blocks, but that doesn't help you in all situations. Especially with a 4x4 truck, which in most situations will just roll over the wheel blocks with the big old tires it's on. Um, it needs an exhaust, and it might be leaking from the manifold. So I might need to have somebody replace that. It, 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 it either had stolen or just removed the catalytic converter. I think I want to get another one. Even though, like, car people would say not to. And it might just get stolen again, but I don't know. I feel like that. 
would be nice f for the planet. <laughs> um, and it needs a uh, windshield. The windshield the windshield is solid and clean. It just needs to be resealed. Or at least this is what the previous owner said. Um, so I've got to find somewhere that can do that without like ruining the windshield. I'm hoping they can just, you know, take out the windshield, reseal it, and put the windshield back in. Like I hope that's a thing that car places can do. Um, those are like the main three things. It needs a radio. Um, all the all the little uh, the vents for like the air blowy blowy are all like plastic cracked and broken and not staying in where they're supposed to be. But I just ordered a set from Indonesia or wherever they were on eBay. Um, I fixed the little tab in the sunroof to keep the sunroof shade on. Um, it needs carpet. The aforementioned leaking windshield. The guy cut up the carpet so that it would dry out. The seats are in fantastic condition. He kept them covered. Sounds like a cool ass truck. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so if I can get these things fixed, it is a cool ass truck. I don't... The initial, and I know I've mentioned this, the initial uh, idea was like, I get a pickup truck, and then the girlfriend sells her car, and then she can drive the Subaru Crosstrek that I have, and then I can use the pickup truck. But I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to use the pickup truck as my daily. It's not Juno friendly. Even with the extra cab... It's a lot high off the ground, and Juno's been having problems jumping up and down places recently. She's getting older, like Wolfie there. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if we're just going to end up being a five-car household. It is kind of a pain in the ass to keep... Tetrising the cars in and out and in and out to, with what limited parking area we have. I could just, I could buy, I could have somebody at my own expense install a new gate on our fence on in the backyard. And then I can park a car out there. That's an option the girlfriend will allow. So there's always that option. But right now, with the Datsun in the garage, the hearse in the garage, our two cars, the Subaru and the Mazda outside, and now a pickup truck outside. It's a bit crowded. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean... Paid a lot less than I thought I was going to for a truck. I was also looking at like Toyotas and Mazdas and stuff like that. There were a couple like early 90s Ford Rangers that caught my eye. There was one up on the peninsula that I contacted the guy about, but he also was selling his canoe and his trailer camper. It was one of those like one axle pop up trailer campers and he wasn't separating them so I was like I, I I barely have room for this truck I definitely don't have room even if I was to buy it and then sell the trailer so that yeah that would have been even more of a logistical nightmare to have dealt with that but yeah I have pickup truck so yeah now it's raining out I haven't had the windshield done so I've got it covered with a tarp right now. And again, I'm just taking the guy's word for it that he that the, the windshield is what's leaking and not the sunroof, which is normally what leaks. Uh, but so far, everything's dry inside. It's a cool-ass truck.
So yeah, that's what I did. And it, like throughout the Ram when parked episode and and still some, I have the twinges of buyer's remorse of like, why did I just make my life more complicated? <laughs> why did I do this? What have I done? I had to register it and then buy insurance for it and got to find places to fix it. And, ah. <sighs> <laughs> But the girlfriend, the girlfriend is more excited for me than than I, my brain lets me be. And I, it's it's easy to drive. It might just be the way all these old Nissan trucks are. But like, my only experience driving manual cars is the Corolla, uh, and the Datsun. And I feel like my opinions may have been skewed because of those. <laughs> Not only. Do they not have power steering? But they are also very old, clunky manual transmission cars that require some forethought and force to get into gear. But the truck is like super smooth. The clutch is very forgiving. You just have to like think about the clutch and it's like okay you can shift gears and it won't like grind or anything like that as opposed to the dots and you have to be like you better push this thing all the way to the floor or you're not going to be able to do a dang thing or you're going to stall or grind or something like that uh, i mean also like i drove uh that uh corolla on bring it that was up for sale on bring a trailer and like that was super easy to drive it was like a 80 whatever ae86 corolla um i just did that for fun i wasn't gonna buy it <laughs> but uh like that was easy to drive as a manual too and i'm like huh huh perhaps it's not as bad as i would imagine Uh, this one, the heat works. The AC, I haven't really used, but it kind of worked on the test drive. Um, it's got power windows, power locks, although they lock, but they don't... No, no, they unlock. No, wait, they lock, but they don't unlock. They do one of the other things, which is fine. They're just the two doors. I can just push a little button. Yeah, like the actuator only locks, but it doesn't unlock. So yeah, I I we're seeing. We're we're seeing if it will be useful or interesting or fun or whatever to have this thing around. Like I said, the price was good. It only has 150,000 miles according to the odometer, which but I don't I'd like the way things look. It doesn't look dirty or anything like that or like I said rusty. It did have a little bit of a situation. I think there was like a right front fender bender. It's like the right front headlight doesn't quite fit right. Things aren't quite aligned there and there's some crumpliness. It might be fixed if I just like replace the... I can replace the radiator support, the whole front area, but... I don't know if I'll ever care that much. So yes, these were not jokes. This was a true thing that has happened. And at the like, the girlfriend wants to learn. She used to drive a manual, but she wants to relearn manual. And I've like tried. She drove the Corolla once and the Datsun once, kind of trying to learn. Um, but I think it'll be a lot easier in the truck. As I said, it's very it's very forgiving.
It does have like big off-road tires on it, which I'm not a huge fan of. I would like to find some period correct Nissan rims and wheels. There's like a specific, they're on a lot of pathfinders of the early 90s and late 80s. Truck manuals are just soft in a good way. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. It's soft. There's none of the notchiness that the Corolla or definitely the Datsun has. It's like a like a literal like gate you have to force yourself through to get, to get it into gear. I get that boat. Indeed. So yeah. They they don't believe anything we do. On Rainwind Park is the truth anymore, Cone. We've lost their trust. <laughs> Can't imagine why. <laughs> They didn't they thought it was a joke. I'm like, no, I bought a truck. And they're like, oh, I thought you were joking. <laughs> Wait. I mean, I haven't made a video or made an official post anywhere about it, but Yes, we are very authentic in our mistakes. I mean, not as impressive as it was looking like it was going to be. And uh, I want to say, you're so cool. Oh, is that weird to say? <laughs> Woo. Woo. Bantion Demon Goat. 23 months in the sub tub with those Bezos bucks and... If you would believe it, your official, verified, certified, uh, uh, dignified, first sub resub of the day. You claimed it, you got it, you beat everybody else to it. Oh, careful, Wolfie. Right on schedule, 5 p.m. Got a peepers demanding food.
Bloink! That was a long, long boat trip. We got too many sticks. Number of sticks is too damn high. Investigate. Oh, it could be something. Definitely something caved in over here. That's alright though. Up and down, Wolfie goes. <laughs> <laughs> to the under under what is it called undertow undercurrent thunder down under Spooky noises. Peepers. Please stop. <laughs> it's just continually rubbing up against my leg. Chicken go. Oh, dang, Wolfie. <laughs> dang, Wolfie. Dang, papers. Oh, that's the wrong way. Speed run. Oh my god, peepers, please. I dislike that weird feeling of an animal writhing at my calves. <laughs> Dang these cacti! Writhing, I say, writhing! We made it through this here desert. Papers, get go on, get. I'll get to you in a minute. I'm busy. Mm. 
dessert. Speaking of dessert, this past week was the girlfriend's birthday. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Does it with such force, too. Force, I say. Do anything fun. Um, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm bad at fun. I'm bad at being a boyfriend on your birthday. Um, well, she was away at a school thing doing a camp thing overnight. Any hospital incidents? No, that's just for my birthday. Bungee jumping. Oh. That is a flat piece of wall right there, isn't it? Um. Yeah, I'm not good. At that stuff. Um, I made a cheesecake. Like, the day after. Um, I got her something, but it won't be ready for another couple weeks. Which is my fault for not starting that process sooner. And yeah, I'm just, I'm bad at that. I'd like to get better <laughs> at stuff like that. Like she, she got me the yurt. We went camping in a yurt. Look at us. The Kurt yurt. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Look at us. Say it again. Look at us. <laughs> Wherever did the time go? Wherever did the time go? 56 months from Manfredity at a tier 2 sub. Sub tub. Thank you very much. So yeah, so tomorrow I got reservations at a, for dinner at a place. She's expressed interest in wanting to get dressed up and go out to dinner. Kind of a quasi fancy place that hopefully doesn't, isn't terrible. <laughs> I mean, um, But we'll see about that. Is anybody else bad at that stuff? Obviously, doing or planning stuff for myself. Never you have ideas throughout the year. Yeah, I I mean, I should do that, I suppose. I'm bad at everything. <laughs> That's the spirit. Um, yeah, like she understands and is very understanding and patient. She says, I'm... I'm I don't want this to be like couples therapy time, but 
I'm good at the everyday stuff. Like feeding these annoying cats. <laughs> Doing dishes and groceries and taking care of things around the house and whatnot and etc. But it's the like... The razzle dazzle. I'm no Who would have thought? Me bad at the razzle dazzle? That's where you excel? <laughs> so, you, so you stink at the everyday stuff? Grab some pumpkins. I mean, but that was the thing we were gonna do anyway. That's the pro- that's my problem is like, yeah, let's do this stuff, but it's like stuff that isn't birthday special specific. And also like we're running definitely out of time to even do that stuff. <laughs> Papers, please, please stop this madness. Um, left. So yeah, I don't, I, oh. yeah. <laughs> Glitz and glam and razzle and dazzle have been hit by Supply chain issues. Right. I mean, that's the thing. I I should put more effort. It does take effort, and my body recoils and rejects effort. That's what I, that's like, that's the learning curve, I think. I mean, it's definitely, there have definitely been a few steps back in the last two years as far as like planning things and like, is it okay to do stuff? <laughs> like, to go places? I'm not sure because it hasn't been and arguably still might not be. So like, I've definitely... I've definitely... what's the opposite? Like, backwards evolving? What's that word? Devolved? Look at us. Hey, look at us. Regress. Look at us. That's the one I was looking for. Look at that us. was the one Say I was again. looking for, Macho look Mandos. <laughs> Bow beater! Speaking of regression... <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa, watch your step. Uh, thank you very much for 53 months. In the sub tub, Bezos Buckos. Much appreciated. Spooking noises. So, yeah, it definitely folds into the like, Kurt doesn't enjoy anything. Oh. Or have any interests or hobbies. Nothing makes him excited. Except for that first day he played trombone champ. And then never again. Um, so it's all folded into that. Dang, dang brain. Not working right. Or a way that is widely socially acceptable. No. Not every day can be a trombone champ day. True. True. Trombones are expensive too. Not that I've been looking, but I have. Anybody got a used trombone they don't want? You 
You want my old student trombone? I do, Weatherman. I do. I think the cheapest trombone I saw was like student trombone for like 50 bucks. I was like, 50 bucks? I didn't just buy a truck or anything like that. True, if we learned anything from Trombone Champ, it takes 53 metric tons of bronze to make a single trombone. You wouldn't make a guy buy his own mouthpiece, would you? Please do not buy those $50 student horns. <laughs> For a joke, I think that price is right. The mouthpieces are expensive? Oh, is that where all the money is? Like, you can clean the mouthpieces, right? Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. I mean, it, yeah, it's not like a... a, a careful of a... It's not like a... Oboe or anything that has like a... A, a wood thing, <laughs> whatever that's called, a reed, a reed, yes, a reeded oh. instrument. A ridden, a ridden instrument. <laughs> what's the what's the the royal reed? A bassoon, a clarinet. Saxophone. Saxophone. Need to practice mute? Never! You gotta toot that horn so that God can hear you. <laughs> as, as it was intended. Mute that toot. <laughs> Saxophone. So yeah, I'm looking for a cheap saxophone. Or a floor mounted handbrake lever assembly for a 1993 Nissan pickup truck. <laughs> These are the two things that I cannot find. Did I say saxophone? I meant trombone. Either one. Either one will solve all of my problems. <laughs> Papers! Don't scratch my chair, you dingus. You old chair scratcher. Chair scratcher. Ah!
Same difference. Speedrun. Oh, I need more boats. Boats, boats, boats. What else was I going to talk about? Let's see. Thieving foliage. Shilato is wondering if I've gotten another tattoo since the cow skull. No, I have not. No, I have not. Um, there was, There's a whole, not maybe not the whole episode, but there is an official episode of Far Lands Bust. I think it's called Tattoo Momentum. Momentum, another momentum, another momentum. But I was talking about how I got this tattoo, and I'm like, that was awesome. I would like to get another one. And I, like, made an appointment to get just, like, a small one that I liked. But then I got there, and the tattoo artist was double booked. And, like, I got bumped. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of annoying. So I'm like, I don't want to go back to you then. And then I just, like, that halted me <laughs> in, my, in my momentum of getting another tattoo. So it's like starting over from scratch, it almost feels like. I Would I like? Yes. Um, it almost feels like the second tattoo more difficult to figure out and decide on than the first one is. I did contact somebody about doing like a Hellblade inspired one because they they're like but like they're super like busy and popular so like I contacted them and they're like that's a great idea but then like their books filled up for like the next two years so I'm like oh okay again momentum loss <laughs> on the other hand the girlfriend that's like a yearly thing for her Fleers? You're thinking of getting fleers on your shoulder. Yeah, you just gotta like find somebody who like that's what they do. Like there's definitely some in my area that I know that like that's their main thing is plants and fleers. Somebody who you like their work of and are nearby and can get a hold of them and in their books or whatever. But yeah, I mean that's a shoulder. Yeah, that's a, that's a good starting spot, I suppose. I have many tattoo ideas and no tattoos. <laughs> but yeah, like the my tattoo was very much like I saw the piece of art somebody retweeted that I followed followed the artist, and they were like, "This is a piece that's available for this fixed amount," and like they were still like under like apprenticeship at that time and I'm like that's cool and I made the appointment and I'm like it makes it it doesn't need it doesn't like mean anything other than it's my first tattoo <laughs> like that's the meaning that it is now wait what am I doing I'm, I don't need to do that I just need to sleep in a bed. Uh, the place you want to go to is a few blocks away. Oh, dang it. Bloink. Oh, 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, if it's a custom piece, you gotta get in contact with the artists. Usually beforehand. Careful, Wolf! Did you just fall in that hole, you dingus? Uh, dingus. I gotta put down a deposit. Make an appointment, if their books are even open, for custom work. Usually a little bit easier if you just want to go with a pre-drawn piece of flash, but even then you can make maybe minor adjustments if you want to. I would like to get... Um, I don't know by who, but there's like the... I don't know what to call it. I suppose... Asian style... Like wolf head? I suppose is the best way to describe it. But then kind of try to make it look like Juno. Like put the white spot and like have a broken tooth. And like a scar on the nose. And then that could be my Juno tattoo. That would be cool. There's a couple times artists I follow have been like, here's a piece of flash, and I'm like, I, I could, we could make that, but I never. Again, the uh, momentum is gone. Um, like, Yukio E. I don't know what that means. Which is why I like hesitate to call it like Japanese style. I don't, I don't like want to be like appropriative or anything like that. How many tattoos does the girlfriend have? I don't know if there's a way to count because they're all one-ish <laughs> now. They have, they're all connected and all encompassing. <laughs> one tattoo. That is it. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess it is that kind of, like, swoopy kind of, you know, you see a lot of, like, dragon heads in that style, but, like, a wolf head is very similar. Need a boat after all. Screen jitters. Oh, hello. Trombone, <laughs> handbrake, tattoos, bad at birthdays, tree stole my hat. <laughs> Got it. This, this Far Lands or Bust stream, in summary. Oh, you know what? We have been watching th we, through Westworld. I... not living up to the hype. Like, the first season was good. We're on to the second season. People say it's diminishing returns even from here. I'm just not invested in any of the characters. Like, there's one or two that you feel some, like, sympathy or interest in, but the rest are just like... Uh, 
You're, you're not making me care about the characters here. You're hearing that the fourth, third and fourth is better? See, I've heard that the first one, whoa, it's great. And then the second one is like, it's still good. And then the third and fourth are like, these are crap. Very, it's very confusing. I mean, it is by one of the Nolan brothers, so that it, it should be assumed that it's going to be that. Um, I don't like the girlfriend is having a hard time following along. But also, I feel like it's very much playing heavily into the like is artificial intelligence life like that whole thing in like soma remember soma everybody loves soma but i'm like i this isn't like groundbreaking for me <laughs> this is you're not blowing my mind here about consciousness and life and biological versus digital life and blah 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 so i like really wasn't impressed <laughs> with that game either So yeah, I don't know. We might stop after this season, second season. We need we need some more Star Trek to start or something. There's only so many grounds you can break. What was that other game where we were the AI? And then we had to like choose to kill like the person at the end in like a space station or something. Detroit Become Human. No, <laughs> no, no. It was a much smaller game than that. We've not played any of those games. Like, it was super weird. Kind of not good. <laughs> like, we were like, we were with it up until like that point of like the twist, and then it just lost. Oh, I'm sure there is many more games than just the one I'm thinking of. Not, and it's not Observation. That one was actually quite good. That was the one where, like, we're the computer on, like, the International Space Station, and we can, like, float around and stuff like that and look at video feeds. That one I enjoyed. But there was another one. Dang it, need more boats still? More boats! This was years ago, too. I don't even remember. So yeah, I'm getting I'm getting the same vibes from West World. Is there anything else on HBO we should be watching? Because I think we have it for another month. Before we got we got to shuffle the streaming services again. Crazy Quilt says, thank you for being so consistent. <laughs> thank you for thinking that I'm consistent. Can't wait to see the Farlands. <laughs> I was consistent. I'd already be there. You all forget about me and move on to the next...
Whoop. Mm, jitters. I mean, that is it, but you need my alerts or my commands are for subs only. Uh, Jesse Combs documentary. What's it called? I don't know. We could watch that. Oh, I hear skeletons. This is not a good. This is not a good place. I guess we're just gonna dig into the flat ground here, huh? Have a seat. Got a light. Got a dirt door. do we need? Yeah, we need what we need is these streaming services to like stop with these 10 episode seasons like Lord of the Rings. We need to get back to the next generation like 32 episodes a season. <laughs> what else do I need? Nothing? I think I'm good. Ah, uh, but the whole environment has changed. The economy of producing serialized content. Hashtag content. Budgets. Mostly budgets. <laughs> expenses. Ah, uh, you know what doesn't have any expenses? Far lines are bust. It does, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. We're going to check on the world save. And that's going to be this... October 21st, Far Lines of Us stream. Forty-four, three eighty-eight point one, point something one. We don't know what that is. And we never will. <laughs>